Hello, welcome back to Ominous Bequest. Uh, we're here in the chamber where Garrett uh, was fooled into performing a ritual to bring the nasty guy, Kadar, back to life. Now, we've just got a key which should open these two doors that we were unable to access before, I believe. Somewhere here. The other door goes to the same place, so I'm just going to check. Uh, it sounds like there's seismic activity happening here again as well, which is now unexpected and certainly not particularly welcome. We'll have to put up with it. It's probably just a wrap on the other side. Yeah. All right, onward. man who has got the Zrazra, the talisman of life. Uh, that's okay, I don't need it, do I? Oh. And the bridge is extending, so I can follow. Alright, perfect. That's what the big clanking noise was, but it's uh, just that. Alright. Okay. These are Crayman tunnels. I don't like Crayman much. They're very good at killing me. Especially when I have very little health. Hmm. I thought I saw something on the wall there, okay. Guess we're going for a swim. Crayman can breathe underwater. They certainly seem to hang around watery places, so maybe they can. Garrett, on the other hand, certainly cannot. Oh. Yeah, stop looking for loot, Garrett, when you're about to die of running out of breath. All right. I don't need loot, I've got all the loot I need. So let's go about uh, finding a way back <laughs> to oh, puddle. Uh, finding a way back to wherever this leads. Uh, we've uh, helped what's his face come back to life and we really shouldn't have. Maybe it's a crazy around here too. Um, so I guess we need to go and undo the thing and kill the guy for good. Like they've got the talisman of life back. That's good, they should be happy, right? Let's hope they're happy. Uh, can I knock more out? I don't have any flash bombs, do I? Let's see if I can knock more out. Sound. Is there a place to hide? There is. Oh, 
the ones that can come in here, I'm okay. Let's see where this leads. Ladder. Hello, oh, I hear. My friend the zombie. Hello, mate. Open this door. We have a ward stone. We have a hammer hawk behind there by the sound of it. Here lieth Amiandrake. His fear of being buried alive drove him into death. If thou canst hear signs of life behind this door, use the two stones to open it. Okay, so he was afraid of being buried alive, so he left his ward stones. I suppose, oh, there's this other skull switch. Let's open something down this way. Let's have a look. There's my zombie friend, he's coming around the corner. Uh, okay, that's where the ward stones get placed, I guess. There's another skull switch just here. Right, that's it, the ward stone, okay. Perfect. Just take me back to yeah, yeah the door's open. Oh there isn't ammo on there's Oh dear. Was that a trick? You bastard. I'm glad you're dead. I'm gonna take all your money. And your mask. Take that. Uh Pollocks. Yeah, no wonder he's laughing. Uh, there's got to be some way out. Can't open that. There's no kind of wood to climb up to it either. No. Alright, should be a switch somewhere. Yes. I look around till I find one, because I don't want to be buried alive here. That's a nasty trick. Oh. It's a rope. Alright, that, that'll do. Uh, uh, no, it won't. Um, maybe there's another switch? So that was there. Okay. Stop laughing. You're getting on my nerves. Hmm. There's the door. This might be another pillar. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, I wonder, did they actually bury you alive down here with this escape route? Or... Were you actually dead already? Because it would be a shame if you were actually buried alive and never found those switches. 
and that wouldn't explain your laughter either. But you just you were just afraid of being buried alive and uh, sadistic at that too. All right, where does this take me then? Very different feelings to the tunnels. Oh. Okay. Uh, thank you. Oh no! Well, Barry fell onto a spike. He died. Alas, poor Barrick. I knew him, Horatio. These are Barrick tunnels. And then under mine. I also need a pick to get out. Uh, oh, and collapsed mine. What does this say? The pain has gone. Now I can't feel anything from my waist down, nor can I move. I don't want to pass out, so I'm writing this. My workmates left to get help after the roof had collapsed and buried half of my body under a ton of stones and rock. They promised to come back with tools to dig me out, but that was hours ago. If only I could reach that pickaxe. I can hear scraping noises behind the rock. Burrocks. It would explain why we had so many cave-ins recently. Those beasts t tend to dig like moles and often get themselves killed when their chaotic tunnel systems collapse. Why did the Majors choose this location for their chambers? I'm tired. I guess a bit of sleep won't hurt. Ah, poor guy. Here's the pick that you'll never be able to dig yourself out of it. Such a shame. Right. There must be water nearby. Where? I don't know. Should not be any more skulls flying down this passageway because I've got no room to dodge. And no health to spare. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I know where we are. This is the crypt. This wasn't open before, was it? Elizabeth. Oh no, somebody's coming. A haunt, I think. Yes, I'm gonna hide. Better not come this way. Better not come into the room. I guess I did kill a guard, right? But uh, thought it was an archer that I killed. It's probably not related. Alright, so we're back in the family crypt. Um, we need to find out where. Uh, what's this? I'm dead now. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have killed them. Right, give up, mate. Hmm. I guess I'm not going that way through the force field. Maybe we can get out through the sewers. Well, 
this explains why Robert's body wasn't there, I guess. Uh, he was never actually dead, as he told me, when he trapped me in the fire pit. Uh, it was all a ruse set up by Kadar. Alright, good thing I left the broker. Yeah? Back we go. So, I guess I can go back out this way and get back to the burrow pits. And hopefully not get trapped inside them again. And hopefully not swim too much in uh, horrible, disgusting sewer water. Wading is one thing, but swimming in it's an entirely different thing. Alright, off we go. I guess we are on the outside of the barrack pits now, so... Yeah, that's where we went in beforehand. Okay. I wonder if they're still there. Don't know. Oh, 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 oh. That was open the grate. Ah, uh, this door here is open. I don't even remember seeing it before, but it's definitely open now. Where does this take me? of Robert Farrington. Well, I guess Robert was a patsy as much as Garrett. Everything went as planned. As I am writing this, my brave animals are bringing an early end to Garrett's insignificant life. I can almost hear him breathing his last breath, the acidic gas of my barracks eating away his lungs. The fool tried to confuse them by blowing the horn, but he just managed to enrage them even more. The battle seems to have ceased. It is time for me to retrieve my father's bequest. The thief has disappeared! How could this happen? There was no way for him to escape. Something is terribly wrong here. I feel as if I have been betrayed. There is this sickening sense of someone watching me again. And this time it feels as if I'm being laughed at. It is as if... I just regained consciousness. I am frightened and confused and my hands are shivering. Something must have happened. I feel empty, as if a part of me has vanished, leaving behind a dark void inside me. For the first time in many years, the haze that's been surrounding my mind has cleared. I cannot believe what I have done. This plan, setting up a trap for a thief. What madness. Somebody else has been influencing me. It must have been that strange book with its tantalizing promises of riches beyond belief. Somebody whispered foul ideas into my ears during my sleep, and with every month he gained more and more control over me. But now I feel just a distant echo of him. Kadar, yes, that is his name, has left my mind. But he is still here, I cannot explain. He used me like a puppet, the same way he had used my father before. He persuaded me to work out a plan that should lure Garrett into my manor. Kadar made me believe that the thief's sole purpose was to find the lost items of my father's heritage. But at the same time, he persuaded me to include the horn in my forged testament as well. And now I see why. Garrett's true purpose was to release the necromancer from his prison. For this, he gave the thief clues that would enable him to escape my trap and arrive at the ritual chamber. I just heard a horrible laughter from below. He is coming for me. I am of no use to him anymore, so he is going to kill me. Builder, forgive me, for I have... died. In the middle of a sentence. Elevator port colors control. Right, let's open the elevator port colors. Where does this go? Oh, back to the barrack pits. Well, hello there, guys. Yeah, I hope you're all okay still. Sorry to uh, not have given you a meal just now, but, um, you know, sometimes. Oh, well, how about this? Hello. Do you see me? Hey? Hello. Spew some gas at me. Hello? Yeah, that's it. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye, my burpee friends. Okay. 
Uh, right, so that's where I came in, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I see elevator anymore. I see elevator. Somewhere around here. Yeah, the portcullis is now gone, so I can take it from the left up. Right, back to the barracks stables. Just saw a long ago and wondered why there were no barracks. Well, now I know why there were no barracks. They were all taken down below into a trap for me. Well, interestingly, there's six pens here, and I could have sworn there were seven barracks. Oh, well, no matter. I didn't actually count them, I just thought it was an eight sided room. Okay. So, uh, what are we trying to do? Find Kedar and bring him into his life. So he's going to be down in the churchy place. So I, guess I, just, I guess I just need to go back there. What's the quickest way? Uh, nope. What's the inner, inner courtyard I want? This way. Yeah. yeah. She's got all these pawns and stuff there. Um, which are going to be fun. I do have the holy sword. But uh, that's not going to make them easy to kill. Just more possible. I wish there'd been a healing potion or something. That's, uh... I wonder if Skullman here is going to hate them. That might be worth trying. Oh, no. Also, I wish there was more darkness in that church because, uh, well, I guess the camera chamber, as I should call it. There really wasn't enough darkness before. Stab this guy. Does someone see me? Or are they just hearing the noise? What? What? He's teleporting around the room. What? Backstab him if I can. <laughs> yeah, somebody saw me. Lots of people saw me. No, 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 not this again. That's right. Die. Yeah, that's a terrible secret escape plan. Hmm, I wonder if I could crush him with a lift. Which, careful about leaning there, it's uh, dangerous. Come on, crush him. Yeah, look, I crushed him. Not sure it's meant to happen. Go back under there. I'm gonna crush you again. I don't think it's gonna work. Looking stuck. Oh, there's noise. 
This, if this is the way to kill him, it's probably not the intended way, right? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna kill him. I think it's just gonna get stuck on him. Alright. Oh uh, dear. Nice bring the lift back up. Yeah, he should have moved by now, so I can send him back down. I'm gonna need to go back down there myself like ass. I just need to wait for him to calm down entirely. So uh, that should be clear now, right? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think hitting him with the sword, as fun as it is, is going to kill him. I think I need to find the book and, and do something about that. Right, let's save here, and let's creep back down. I hope he's calmed down enough to go back to the... The church? Probably not, right? I can, I can hope. Maybe switch to the side as well. <coughs> I killed one hammer. That's definitely one way of doing it. And both lifts are down here, so I have a escape route again. Alright, so he's back there. I can hear another horn running around. I'd like to get rid of all the haunts. I just don't use back to the teleporting trick. Oh no, you didn't see me again, did you? Oh, they saw the body over there, the one I stabbed. <laughs> He's going to investigate and keeps getting teleported back. Poor fool. Where are you coming? You don't come this way. Ah, uh, this is the wrong way to go. That's right, come on, we've walked about. I'm not here. That's right, give up. Just give up. I can stand at your place. What's, who's up there, up there? Ah, doing something with the, the corpse. Oh, oh wait. That's right, go stand over right, right there. Uh, right. Okay. So that hammer has, that horn has stopped patrolling, has it? Just standing there now. That's uh, kind of annoying. Well, there's one of them that's laughing. Upstairs. I'm not going to be able to get there, am I, without being seen? Yeah, he's pretty, pretty angry right now. Oh, maybe he's the one that was patrolling down here. I'm not the one by the altar. I don't know. Problem is, I don't have that much health to be able to take risks to find out. Let's try it. Can anyone else see that? Oh, he did. I'm running away again. Probably a bad idea. Garrett's yeah, hit and run tactics. So I hit him, I hit that apparition and it just teleports away instead of dying. That's uh, 
doesn't feel fair to me. Doesn't feel fair at all. And yeah, it did seem that maybe the haunt from upstairs was coming downstairs, which means I probably should have waited a bit more. Hmm. I don't have the health to do a lot of proper running around and fighting because there's one stray hit that's going to kill me. Pretty much. Maybe two stray hits. Well, let's see what we can do. It's not the first mission where a Master Thief has been pitted against enemies in combat, and it's uh, a little bit frustrating because. Really not. My skill set. You're not coming here, are you? If you are, I've got a switch I can pull. No? Yes? Well, why don't you stop laughing? You're calm down. You know, maybe throw the holy sponge at him. There's an idea. Where's my holy sponge? Holy sponge. There we are. What do you reckon? Can I throw that at him? Yes. No. Not entirely successfully. Stand under there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Horn. Stand in that hollow where you saw me and wait for this mechanical crusher to come back down. Ow, I'm down to one hit point. It's one of those, uh, one of his spell bolt thingies got me. Come on. Yes, it's crushing. It's crushing. There's another horn down. Uh, it's an unconventional technique, but uh, I do love it. Hmm. I'm not sure whether to save, though, because I've got even less health now. Haunts are the easier ones to kill. The weird ghosty thing that teleports as soon as I hit him with my sword is more of a problem. Sponge alone is not really doing the job. It's a pain to pick it up and throw it all the time. Wow. There's Holy Sponge again. Holy Sponge. Didn't work at all. Right, I don't know what to do about the teleporting ghost. But. I don't know, maybe I don't need to do much about him? I mean, if he keeps teleporting away, then he's not really going to do much harm, is he? I don't know. Again. That might work. 
I do it enough times? Or holy water? Let's see if I can sneak around and get upstairs without being seen. Ghost dude, a little. Oh, that's right, he's just wandering around down there. He heard something, but he didn't see anything. He doesn't know where to look. Okay, so far. Nothing new in the journal here, is there? No. And there's nothing I can use in here. There's recruiting posters for the mechanists. Okay. Right. He's seen me now. Bollocks, let's go hide. You know, dear. That's not what I wanted. So, <clears throat> I have no idea how to stop this ritual. Are you actually coming to where I am? Are you, you don't know I'm over here. There. Turn around. He actually, he actually dropped some blood there. Okay. Actually, maybe fighting him out here is a better way to do it. But I don't know if I can kill him. Bright and shiny and glowy. Right. Yeah, okay, show me now, good. Good, good, good. So he's gonna run over there. I think I'm searching because he doesn't know where I am. And then I will stab him in the back. Great. That's uh, two horns down. That's definitely worth a save. So I've only got the teleporting man to worry about, and if he calms down and goes back to his original position, that shouldn't be a problem. Now what? What do I do here? He's trying to put his life force into her. So I need to do something about that. Uh, there's holy water right there, but I don't know if that's 
Maybe I can buy a Hollywood Irish in Heaven. Do something about that. I need to find the book. Where's the book? I need the book. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Right, fill it down there seems to have calmed down. So I'm gonna make a hard save so I've got a. Uh, uh, something to come back to in case I fuck this up entirely. Has he got the book on him? That I can pickpocket? It doesn't look like it. I don't need flares. Alright, the haunts are dead. I've got Mr. Spellman to worry about. I don't think I can defeat. But uh, I also may not need to. Oops. Oh, yes. Okay, he sees me. This guy, I always see me already. Um. He's gonna keep coming, right? I can keep doing this. I can do this all day, or at least 16 times in a row. Ah, he's teleporting again each time. Oh, that's the trick then. Get him in, lock him in his teleport sequence, and uh, I think he can't come and get me. Well, he's not distracted by the. Uh... Not distracted by the organ at all. Something, is this door got anything to do with it? Or is that just the other way out? Uh, I don't know. Anything in here? No, still not. What about my holy water? Uh, holy water? I should try the skull on them too. Yeah, holy sponge. Seem to be having an effect on him, it's splashing on her. No, that's not gonna work. I mean, he's bleeding. Ah, uh, this isn't gonna work, is it? This is, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. 
drive me out of the way to do this. I suppose I can use that key I got to open this, can I? No. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, kill me, come on. Kill me. Right. Uh, wrong save. Let's take this one. Okay. So we have this ritual going on, and I do not know how to solve it. But I'm gonna cut there, go pick the walkthrough, because I'm completely lost. And I'll come back once I know what I'm missing. Usually. Okay, so what I missed before, and all that, so all that running around and flashing apparitions on my sword, is I never looked up. And if I had looked up, there is the Book of Souls that's powering this whole thing. And just like before, I guess I need to destroy it um, in order to stop Kadar finishing his ritual. So, to be able to destroy it, I need to get up there. Last time, I was able to successfully get up there by climbing a rope from up here. Which, uh, as long as Mr. Teleporting down there doesn't see me, I should be alright. Uh, he will see me, won't he? Yeah, it's pretty bright now, you see me. On the other hand, Once I'm up here, it'll be out of his reach. Alright, can I reach that with my sword? No. Uh, that's the problem. Maybe from here? Yes! 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 Right, um, we ended Kadar's life. We broke the book into shreds. And uh, into more shreds than last time, so this time he wasn't able to put it back together with his spirit. And because of the journal about last time, we were able to. Uh, I remembered that he was about to explode and to duck behind. The pillar so not to get caught in the explosion. Alright, that was much easier than I expected. If only I'd looked up and seen the book. Because I've been looking for the book before. It was definitely had led me to believe the book was uh, what was needed. But, um. Oh. Church Eastern Exit Key. Ah, oh, that's the way out. Well, there's nothing left of him. Or the book, by the looks of it. Uh. The body of Elizabeth Farrington. Now let's go bury her again. Before we leave. Now that we have the way out, we should just be able to go back out the way that the hammers used to come in here. And actually, it's now a properly consecrated church, I guess. Now we've got rid of Kadar, who's not going to be haunting the place anymore. Hopefully the Farringtons will have some peace. So yeah, if only I'd looked a little bit more for the book before trying to just like kill everyone with free force. Oh! Objective complete! How very noble of you. You put Elizabeth to rest. Well, that's the least I could do. And sorry for standing on your head just then. Uh, if I looked around a bit for the book, I would have uh, known immediately what to do because I'd been up climbing up there before. But, um,. I wouldn't have even had to bother with the hammers then, I guess. I imagine they would have died in the explosion or something. Okay. Well, we have the church eastern exit key. We have all our money. It's time for Gav to go home. And he finds there's another trick. Another thing happens here, right? Something else goes horribly wrong. And that was only like the first quarter of the mission. No, this has got to be the actual way out, surely. 
Here we are, back on the city streets. Haha, <laughs> builder, hammer, mechanist, whatever. Recruitment posters. And it's time to go home. Oh no, it's locked! Alright. So, that was Ominous Request. Uh, it took 4 hours and 26 minutes, plus some change from dying. I missed 1,500 loot somewhere. I guess 4 secrets that I missed contained a bunch of that. Wow, okay. I guess I didn't look around nearly as what, yeah, thoroughly as I thought I had. But uh, that's good. So uh, when we got to that point, so, uh, just as we're about to leave via the sewers, and I thought, you know, here I am about to leave, and there's just these, you know, couple of mysteries left. What's the deal with this curse? You know, uh, what's the deal with the burrow pit that we never saw, etc. And then, of course, the mission immediately went and answered those questions one after another. There's the mages, there's the barracks, there's the guy who was the curse, you know, etc. Uh, so that's good. I don't think there's any real lingering questions there. Except, where the hell is all the rest of the loot? Uh, but, you know, that's the usual one. I, ne I never get all the loot, especially on stream. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back uh, sometime soon with a brand new fan mission. See you then.